Caro can defense, fantasy variation, 3, e6. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. Both players navigated the middle game well. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. In the Karo Khan defense, the pawns on d7 and d5 can be quickly pushed to take control of the center and engage the e4 pawn. The d4 square seizes the center and launches an assault on the e5 and c5 squares. The pawn on e4 is under attack from the center, where d5. F3 defends the e4 pawn and controls the g4 square, but slightly weakens white's king side. The d5 pawn is supported by e6 and the bishop on the dark squares can advance. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is the final book action. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. That's good. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is ideal. Therefore, a knight is attached to the king. It is ideal. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is quite good. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is quite good. This threatens to attack a trapped bishop. This permits the opponent to kick a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This strikes the opponent's bishop. It is ideal. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. Backs off. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. That's good. Backs off. That's good. This blows the chance to defend against an assault on a helpless pawn. It is incorrect. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. This suggests kicking a bishop. It is quite good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. That's good. Recaptures. This poses a threat to an open file and a rook. It is ideal. Castling develops a rook while moving the king to a safer position beyond the board center. Castling to the same side of the board as your adversary helps you escape some of the attacking that comes with castling to the other side. It is ideal. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. That's good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is ideal. This misses a chance to contest the open file with the opposing rook. It is incorrect. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This overlooks a better way to develop a queen off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. The game was almost evenly matched, but black is now worse. It is incorrect. A wise decision. It is quite good. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. This threatens to double the pawns in front of the king. It is excellent. This stops the opponent from being able to double the pawns in front of the king. It is best. The knight is now sufficiently protected. It is ideal. This poses a knight winning threat. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. It is incorrect. This misses a great but hard to find move. There was only one good move there. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a queen. It is a blunder. This wins a rook. This was a game-changing move, giving white a winning position. It is a great move. A pawn can now effectively protect another piece because of this. It is quite good. That was a truly amazing move. It is brilliant. Backs off. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This avoids the queen's check. It is ideal. This captures a vulnerable knight. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. 
Black had a good opening, but White was on another level. Both players navigated the middle game well.